Hi yogis, thanks for joining. I'm Tova and welcome to my channel. Today's class, we are gonna be focusing on back bends. So we're really gonna to look to open up through that middle part of the spine in particular, the thoracic spine, that can get so tight and locked up and just make your movement not feel so good. And of course, when we're opening up through the back, that also means that we're gonna be doing some stretching through the chest and shoulders as well. So join me on your mat. So to start today's class, we're going to begin in lying bound angle pose. So if you have a bolster or a cushion that you like to put underneath your back for this option, please go ahead and do so. Of course, you can do this just lying flat on your mat as well. And I do have a long enough cushion today that will support my head. But if you don't have a cushion that's long enough, you could have it underneath your back and then have a separate cushion for your head here. And we're just gonna begin in this nice, very, easy, gentle yin posture. And if you know that your thoracic spine or your back is a little bit more tight, I might suggest that you start flat on the ground without the bolster. Just as we progress through today's class, giving your body a little bit more time. Of course, lying on the bolster is a gentle back bend, but that sometimes can still be too much for some bodies. I invite you to close your eyes here or just take a nice, quiet, steady gaze towards the ceiling. Begin to deepen your breath. As you allow your body to soften here, not feeling like it's holding or clenching or that it's not resisting the cushion that's underneath your back, but it's giving into the cushion, into your mat. And we're going to be holding poses today between about two and three minutes. And these should feel easy and gentle. Our aim is to relax the muscles, allow them to stretch, but really to get into the connective tissue, the fascia, the joints. And so it needs to be very gentle. So about a seven out of 10 is perfect here. And just nice and slowly begin to close your legs, maybe helping with your hands. And just taking your time, removing anything that's underneath your back. And you can just set it off to the side. And we're gonna come now onto our tummies. As we just begin in a nice, easy, gentle cobra here. And we're gonna be progressing through some deeper back bends in today's practice. So really make this a nice, gentle, easy place to start. And you could definitely take a cushion here and just tuck it underneath the very front edge of your chest and then let your chest rest here. So this won't be a deep back bend like we could do. This is just kind of keeping us in check and making it a little bit gentler, a little bit easier. 
You might have your palms down. You might turn your thumbs up to the roof here. And try to relax your neck. Relax through your buttocks muscles. Sometimes the tendency when we lie on our front is to tighten up through the back muscles, tighten through the glutes. So notice if that's happening to you and try to let that go a little bit. And we want to aim to embrace the stillness in the yin practice. So aim to quell your fidgeting, any unnecessary moving about. Of course, adjust if you're just making the position better for you if you need to back off a little bit or find that you wanted to go just a touch deeper. But other than that, try to be as still as you can not worrying if it's not perfect. Every practice working towards finding stillness in our body. And then the aim is that our mind will follow us to that stiller place. We're going to start to come out of this little gentle cobra position and then just take your time as you make your way up onto all fours and we're going to just work on a different back bend here as we come into puppy stretch or anahata asana so starting in tabletop we want to start with our hip stacked over our knees walk your hands ahead until your elbows come to the floor and then aim to bring your forehead down Again, thumbs could turn to the roof, they could be flat, your hands could come into prayer. And if this feels like it's too intense for you, then you're going to start to shift your weight further back and you could come into resting child's pose or partway to child's if need be. As your aim here is to melt your heart closer to the mat, loosening through the middle of your spine deepening your back bend. Good, and let's move now again onto our tummies. 
and we're gonna be progressing in that cobra position. So we're gonna start to come into a little bit deeper of a back bend. And this is whatever deeper is for you. So as we come higher up onto our arm, so having our elbow underneath our shoulder, this is gonna deepen the back bend. So if you remember previously, my arms were further forward, my chest was down. Now I'm gonna work with my chest off the mat. Okay, but you remember you go whatever deeper is for you and you're just looking for a little bit of a progression here. Still staying within that confine of not feeling pain, making it feel gentle, and not going further ahead than about a seven out of 10. And I might invite you today to take a block or a cushion here and rest it underneath your forehead. So this can help your neck to relax in this posture. So if you sometimes find that it's hard for you to relax your neck, this can be a great option. One of my favorites actually. Stretch your toes off the edge of your mat as you lengthen your back and settle in. Breathing deeply. And just a few more deep breaths here. As you feel the breath travel up and down your spine. Good, and if you were using a block or cushion underneath your head, just gently releasing moving it out of the way and just slowly let yourself come back down to the bottom. Maybe just taking a couple of breaths here lying flat or in any other position that feels restful for you. Wonderful. And making our way one more time into puppy pose. And again, we're looking to go a little bit deeper, depending on what deeper is for you. And if puppy is a real challenge for you, I'll invite you just to go back to the same variation of the posture. If you feel like you might be able to go a little bit deeper, and especially don't be afraid to give it a try here, um, because we've been working on opening through the front of the chest and the back of the spine, the T-spine area, you may find that things have loosened up a little bit and you have a little bit more movement than when we started the practice. So I'm going to use a long bolster here, but you could definitely use two blocks and you would just turn them um, sideways this way. So I'm going to use this to rest my forearms on. And then from that same tabletop position, I'm going to let my chest sink down towards the floor. And this might be with your head, so you might like your head resting on the cushion. You might like it to just drop somewhere in the space. And if you like here, you can bring your hands to come behind your head to come into prayer position. Okay, but again, these are just variations or options, not ones that you must take. And if you are a yogi who 
maybe has a little bit bigger chest, this can be a great option to help you get the depth that you might need in puppy pose because sometimes our chest is already on the floor and it doesn't give us very much room to move. So this could be a great option for you to use all the time in puppy pose. Feel like your heart is melting down as you really give into this, soften. Today's practice is really an excellent one for anyone who experiences some tension through the middle of their back, their shoulders. If you spend a lot of time seated, this really helps to open up that area. And oftentimes it is our T-spine or thoracic spine that gets a little bit stuck and needs some attention. Taking our last few deep breaths here. And if your arms are in prayer, begin to bring them back. Slowly coming up out of this position. Just take your time, be mindful and move slow. And then one last time, we're gonna come back onto our bellies and we're gonna come back to Cobra, finding your deepest Cobra that feels appropriate for you, abiding by that seven out of 10, not pushing too hard. And of course, to make this gentler, walking your hands further forward at any time. Always opt to tuck the block back underneath your head here if you like. only going to stay in this posture for a few more breaths. If you did want to come deeper, coming up onto the hands here, coming into seal pose, feel free to press up into the hands. Again, remembering we never want to feel pain. 
course, the closer your hands are to underneath your shoulders, the deeper the back bend, the further forward, the gentler the position. and allow yourself to come all the way flat and just resting at the bottom for a few breaths here either bringing your forehead down or turn your cheek to one side good and slowly transitioning away here as we come into our last posture, our last yin posture, before we move into savasana, we're gonna move into supported fish, pardon me. So you're gonna take your block, and if you have two blocks, this is great, but this could be bolsters, could be cushions. Um, you decide, some people uh, prefer a little bit firmer tension from the block, some people would prefer something a little bit softer like a cushion, but I'm gonna set my blocks up like this. So if this was a cushion, I would want to put it in this direction okay so instead of this direction we want to go crossways and you're aiming to put that cushion or the block right underneath or right in your t-spine so right along where your bra strap would be or right between your shoulder blades in that area and then the second cushion or pillow is for your head so just take a moment this can take a little bit of finagling just to get yourself in the right position so i want to feel that block adjust it for my head and you can rest here with your knees bent you can stretch your legs out straight you could come into like a bound angle position just giving your hips a little bit more rest or in a tented knee position here so you really feel it out and of course if this isn't feeling good for you please allow yourself to come back to the position we started today's practice in lying bound angle knowing that this is a bit deeper of a back bend. Again, making sure that it's not too challenging for you. And just as slowly as you got into supported fish, take your time as you peel away and come out. Sliding any cushions out of the way. And allow yourself to come all the way onto your back. And as we prepare for Savasana, you might feel it 
to be nice to just windshield wiper your legs a couple of times, releasing any tension through the lower back, through the hips, from all those back bends. Just letting your knees sway side to side. And then allowing your legs to stretch out. Getting into any comfortable savasana position you like, and this does not need to be on your back. Feel free to rest on your side, your stomach. Adding any props or cushions to make your time more comfortable here. As we just let our bodies rest and recover from those deep stretches, finding its way back to balance. And just begin to breathe a little bit deeper. Starting to make some small movements with your fingers and with your toes. And when you're ready, bend your knees and let yourself just gently roll to one side. Just resting there for a couple of breaths. and then finding your way back to a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for joining me in today's practice. If you did enjoy today's class, please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, let me know what you thought, what was your favorite pose. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do subscribe. And if you really loved the class, uh, you now have the option to thank me by buying me a cup of coffee. So check out the link in the description. See you next class. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.